Types of hardware, processing devices. Processing devices are the components of a system that assist with physically transforming data into information. So it's the parts in your computer that are transforming data, getting the instructions, and based on those instructions, changing data into the designated information that a user wants to see. So with starting off with this, the first bit to point out is out of the central processing unit, the CPU, which is the main part of the computer used for processing data. The CPU is the brain of any system and essentially fast processes allow for many rapid calculations to take place in your computer. So you want to have a good processor in your system. Some examples of CPUs include the Intel i series, so the i5, i7, and now i9, okay? And as the number gets higher, that's the better version of the processor in existence, okay? So they're built into many systems. AMD has the Ryzen series with five, seven, and nine as well. And Apple have their now M series, which they only released a few years ago, currently at M2. They had M1 first, which was the uh, revolution of their chips that they had in their system. And now they're currently at the M2 processor, which they don't just have in their laptops and desktops, but also in their iPads as well, allowing them to operate at a very powerful rate on level with their computerized systems. Okay, CPUs are made up of multiple cores as well. And the more cores you have, the more different parts of the CPU that can independently support the processing of different tasks. Okay, so different parts of the CPU can process different pieces of information, different requests coming from different applications in the operating system all at one time, allowing users to multitask and systems to multitask. So we want to have more cores, but also a lot of power behind those cores so we're not getting any lag in our system too. So the CPU chip in a system is one of the most powerful tools within the system. And you've got to make sure that whatever device you get, you've got a good CPU in your computer to support whatever operations you are doing. Now, the next area I'll look at that now is that of the GPU, the graphics processing unit. Okay, so we're talking now specifically processing graphical tasks, okay, required by the system, okay. It can relate to applications presenting video data or displaying graphics related to video games on the system, okay. So the GPU processing power is also required when editing these media types as well or creating them. All right, so that on screen, it can actually do them when they're in an uncompressed format. Okay, once again, so we're not getting any lag and that we've got a fast processor so that we're getting a fluid animation when we are developing these things as well. Now, we may initially buy a system and we find that we are getting a bit of lag when we're using our system to watch video or play a certain game. Well, we can actually upgrade our GPU okay, through inserting different graphics cards. Okay, we can buy a graphics card which has a better GPU attached to it and then that can make it so that the graphics and animations associated with it run at a smoother rate through having better processing power in our GPU. So they're specifically for processing, but I do want to mention another piece of hardware too, and that's that of RAM. Okay, now RAM is a storage hardware, okay, and it's storage for data sent for processing. So it works in conjunction with the CPU. It assists in the processing of data. It does this through providing a storage location for data and instructions that are being sent prior to processing. Pretty much everything that's on your screen is in RAM. It's where all the live data is. So the larger the capacity of RAM, the larger the files of data and the increased amount of data that can be stored for processing. So the more things you can have on screen running, you can have a video running while you're doing your work for school, or you might be editing some sort of program that you're working on, which is making use of images. So you might have multiple things open at a time. Now, because all those things are open once, there's only a finite amount of memory that can store all that while it's live. So if you don't have a good RAM chip in your system, okay, that once again can also lead to lag as well. But just like with the graphics card, you can interchange RAM too and upgrade your chips in your system as well. Reason I'm highlighting, and I've already mentioned that it works with the CPU for the processing of data, is we have this thing that happens within a computer where the CPU works with RAM in order to process data through what's known as the fetch execute cycle. And I'm not going to go into detail of what that is right now, but what it means is the CPU sends for instructions, okay, and it retrieves instructions from RAM, from the applications and the operating system, sending instructions, they get stored in RAM, the CPU then decodes it, so it sees what the instructions are and plans out how it's going to address those instructions, it then, based on what it interprets, 
processes those instructions and transforms the data and then that transformed data based on the instructions becomes information which is then stored back into RAM okay for the user to see okay because remember that's what's in RAM is live on your screen and then they can read that information on screen once that's done the CPU will then process the next batch of instructions that have been sent to RAM. And that's why it's a cycle, that fetch executes cycle. So that's the important role RAM plays in relation to processing data as well and working with the CPU there. So I hope this video has given you understanding of processing devices, specifically the CPU as the brain of the computer, which is doing all the calculations and processing instructions, pretty much of everything you do. Understand the importance of having a good CPU in your computer, but also the other elements that affect the running of your system as well the gpu for the processing of graphical tasks as well as the amount of ram you have for supporting the storage of live data the more data you're going to have on screen well the more ram you need to store those instructions so that they can then be processed by the cpu at the time so i hope you see the importance of processing devices